the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's give God some praise. more time. Just give God some praise. Stephania, and she's going to open us in prayer. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Father, oh, yes. we bless your name tonight, Lord God. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to, to share the most excellent way with all those that are here tonight. God, yes. we pray that it would meet the yes. family that it was designed to meet. God, we yes. thank you for every soul that is here. We thank oh, you for every Jesus. word that is going to be shared tonight, every yes. testimony, yes. Lord God, that it will reach someone that they may be set free. In yes. Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Well, welcome, everyone. We welcome you tonight to our meet and greet. Also, uh, we call it our open house for the most excellent way. We are excited about so many of you coming out to join us on tonight, taking time out of your schedule to come and see what the most excellent way is about and also to support us in our effort to destroy the strongholds of addiction. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I um, am Pastor Rebecca Simmons and it's an honor and a blessing to be a part of this magnificent team that God has assembled. So at this time I'm going to bring up my wonderful, wonderful, did I say he was wonderful? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Pastor and he's going to do our opening statement. Hallelujah. I'm going to read the opening statement, and I'm going to take my time to read it, because this is something that we read at the beginning of every meeting. It pretty much is the philosophy of the program and, and the uh, support group. And it says, uh, the opening statement, the most excellent way is love according to 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 31 and chapter 13 verse 3 to 8. Our purpose is to provide loving support to family members and friends of chemically, chemically, chemically dependent who desire biblical solutions to their relationship problems. We believe that by attending meetings such as this, we will grow in our faith in Christ with others who understand our circumstances and who have experienced victory in their lives through a personal relationship with Jesus. We utilize biblical principles to overcome guilt, frustration, hopelessness, fear, and shame associated with addictive behavior. Remembering the admonition of the scriptures, beware lest anyone take you captive through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. Colossians 2.8 We believe a person can be totally, say totally. Totally. Amen. A person can be totally free from obsessive, compulsive attitudes and self-centered behavior only by the power of the indwelling spirit of Christ <coughs> Jesus. My God. Amen. Amen. Jesus. My God. Yes. Amen. The most excellent way is to be reconciled with God, the Father, through belief in Jesus Christ and to surrender his and to surrender to his way. Therefore we choose to apply biblical principles to our lives in order to become healthy, loving, productive, secure, joy-filled children of God. The most excellent way is a personal relationship with Jesus. Jesus said, the thief, the devil, does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. John 10.10. 10. 
Amen. We recite Amen. that. Amen. We recite that Amen. word for word before every meeting. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. My God. We know that, you know, there's certain programs out here, but we know that Jesus is the only way that we can be totally free. Amen. Yeah. He said, I have come so that you might have life and have that life more abundantly. So we're thanking God for the abundant life on today. We're thanking God that we don't have anything holding us back. Paul said he wouldn't be mastered by anything. My God. And we know that with Christ, we have the greater one living on the inside of us. So that's why we're so excited about the most excellent Amen. way Amen. program. Amen of Hillside, New Jersey, and you can't do this. We cannot do this without a team. So we thank God for the dream team. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The team that makes the dream happen. And I'm going to bring up uh, Pastor Suzette Malloy. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Grace Amen. and peace to all of you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Pastor Rebecca said, the dream team. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're a dream team. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to uh, introduce ourselves so that you'll know who we are. We are three ministries who have joined together in this effort to show you and lead you towards the most excellent way. Yes. You've met Pastor Rebecca Simmons. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Yeah. Pastor Anthony, if you would come up. We have Pastor Stephanie Burgess and Pastor Ron Burgess. Yes. Amen. Early Application Ministries, New Creation Amen. Ministries, and the angel of this house. Yes. Yes. team and every Thursday we have diligently and faithfully for almost a year mm -hmm. it'll be a year next month that we've been meeting you're every ready. Thursday so you already Amen. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. I've been coming so long I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been coming every Thursday for a year in this effort and we just wanted to share with you what we are doing so that you can know. Jones, get up, go up there and get somebody to tell them to come down here. Put, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's upstairs. Somebody's upstairs. Um, so that you will know what we do and that you can share it and come and join us if you need to. Everyone has a family member or knows someone. And we believe, as the opening statement said, that this is something that can truly uh, break the yoke. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thank you, folks. Amen. <laughs> All right. Amen. So part of what we do in our meetings, and we're just giving you a, just a small taste of our meetings, part of what we do is we always read a scripture. And so I'm going to read one of the scriptures that uh, are part of our fellowship meetings. And it's from Titus chapter 3, verses 3 through 8. And it reads, at one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. And I want to stress these things, so that those who have trusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Um, the most excellent way means a lot to me. I'm always praising God, always giving God the glory. The joy of the Lord truly is my strength. And when you see me, you'll see me praising God because of what God has done in my life. God brought me up out of a bar. I actually met my husband in a bar. 
and he brought me to church. Hallelujah. I was going to that bar to get drunk. Hey, but I didn't get drunk that night. I got evangelized. The spirit of evangelism that he sent this man into a bar to tell me about Jesus. Now at this time I was still drinking. I had not I had already quit cocaine. I had already quit marijuana. And I, I said I did it on my own in ignorance, but that was truly ignorance because I know that God knew in advance the plan that he had for yes, my life, yes, that amen. he had a plan to prosper me and not to harm me. Amen. And marijuana, cocaine, and drinking were not a part of that plan. Yes. So God sent this man to save me. And I got saved and I got out, but I have a sister that did not get out. She got saved, but for most of her life, the rest of her life she struggled with yeah. addiction yeah. and she went home to be with the Lord when she went home to be with the Lord she was saved she was yes. clean yes. but she yes. was struggling Thank amen yes. so so my passion is to make sure that people like my sister Janice God bless her soul yes. and people like my other sister who's still struggling yes. will have a place to go where they can find victory amen from yes. Yes. amen yes. So we're stopping out addiction, and at this time we want to bring up two people who have been coming on a regular basis, and they have powerful. Can somebody say powerful? Powerful. powerful. They have powerful uh, testimonies. Powerful. Amen, powerful. Amen. So they're going to come up and they're going to share their testimonies. Just a brief testimony to let you know how good God is yes, and what is. God is doing in their lives. So we're going to bring up at this time Deacon Frank Ingalls for a five minute testimony. Receive him as he comes. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 All right. I have to be first, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Glory, Glory to God. 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 Glory before you, um, before you to um, tonight, you know, it's just by the grace of God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been, I was in addiction for 16 years. Mm-hmm. Through through that, through uh, through my whole addiction, I was in the church. Okay, I was born and raised in the church. Mm-hmm. From the time I can remember, just going to church. When in my teens, I <laughs> felt, you know, another another pull, mm-hmm. and I wanted both sides. I wanted to live life and still go to church, and which I did. And I can tell you. Through, through that, I, when I went to church, when I, um, when I left, I got high. Even um, 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 through the the um, the whole day, okay. We may have first service, we break for the second service during the break. I went out and I got high. You know, um, my mother, <laughs> I, I love my mom. Amen. You know, she she was uh, one that, that if I'm going to church, everybody in the house is going. Yes, All right. yes, All that's right. right. That's right. What you did the night before, mm-hmm. but you getting up and going to church. Amen. All right. That's right. And, and, and sometimes I did, and sometimes I didn't even come home. Because I was on, uh, I was on the run. The the drug of choice that I have is cocaine, and I smoked it. Some people may say crackhead, whatever. Back then, I didn't know anything about crack. I knew about free based it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I didn't because I didn't. I, I went and 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 bought the stuff, and bought bought the powder. And, and became a chemist. I cooked it up myself. Mm-hmm. Put it in the pipe and smoked it. I didn't, 
today on the street, you don't know what you get. Yeah. Because they uh, they um, they they already process it, and and what they what they processing the cocaine with now is devastating. Mm -hmm. But I stayed in there for 16 years. You know, and I ran. I ran. To me, I ran hard. Some people say I didn't run that hard, but I, to, for me, in my in, in my life, I ran hard. And and I and I could tell and I tell you today, I love getting high. Tough. I loved it. You know, when I came into this process, I. God took me away that that a lot of people may may frown on, may talk about or whatever. But this is my way, Amen. the way that God brought me. Amen. He brought me through the rooms of Narcotics Anonymous. Mm -hmm. Okay, He took me to uh, into a facility which uh, is up in Summit called Fair Oaks. It's not there anymore. The building is still there, but it is known by another name now. And Fair Oaks was a place where where the rich and famous went. Yeah. And I was and, and I went there because of the assurance that I had. Wow. Mm -hmm. Because I worked for the state at the time when I was um, when I was in my in my addiction. And tell you a little bit about what I did for the state. I worked for the medical examiners. Mm -hmm. I was, I was at the medical examiners when um, through the time when a lot of people was dying from um, from the, um, this drug that was called Tangle and Cash. It was heroin. Mixed with with um, horse tranquilizers. Wow, mm -hmm. my God! And a lot of people died from it, and a lot of people went crazy. Mm -hmm. And in my, I would say, sick thinking, because I was using heroin, I was like, uh, "This is not going to happen to me." Mm -hmm. And thank God for God. Yes, 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 amen, amen. 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 See, so because the enemy, the enemy from from my understanding now, he wants to take you out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. He don't, it, it doesn't matter what, what you're using, if he's going to take you out, he's going to take you out. Pain and simple. You know, and, and through that, when um, when I came to to myself, okay, and before I went to Fair Oaks, what happened is that I got sick and tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and in in the mix of me getting um, getting high, I used to sit on my mother's stoop and look up at the star, at the sky. And I was like, God, you had to help me. You had to yes. take this from me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do this, but you had to take this. Yes. And I named it. I said, you had to take the cocaine. Mm -hmm. You had to take it. And I had to say, and I had to tell you, I compromised with him. I said, God, take the cocaine, but leave me my beer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I say that because a lot of people, you know, I uh, I was foolish to, uh, to 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 think that alcohol is separate, but alcohol is a drug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you and, and if you wanna if you wanna st um, live a clean life, you have to live a clean life. Wow! Right. Wow! Mm -hmm. Total, mm -hmm. you know, total.
from anything that, that's going to um, that's going to hinder you from God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and I went through um, the Fair Oaks and and I start going to my kind of anonymous meetings and still going to church. And what happened was that. I, I can say that Narcotics Anonymous brought me to understanding that I had to have a relationship with God. Amen. And see, religion for me doesn't work. It's about the relationship that I have with God. Amen. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yes. That's right. Okay. That's so right. because relationship with God is going to carry you. Yes. 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 That's right. And you have to build on that. Amen. And through and through come, um, coming to church, going to meetings, that's what uh, what happened. Mm -hmm. And I started, and I tell you, from the time that um, that I went in, start going to meetings, I haven't looked back since. I may have through through. through my 20 years, because I had 20 years of sobriety. Amen. 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 And I can, I can tell you now, I haven't relapsed on substances, but I did relapse on behaviors and attitudes. See, behaviors is what keep us stuck. Keep us stuck to to where we don't want to we 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 be closed minded yes. and don't want to change mm -hmm. because yeah because we may be you know clean and, and staying abstinence from from drugs alcohol substance and all that but we still want um, but we still want to live in the state of behaviors that keep us. In, in a way that, that is not pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And seeing if we continue to stay in the behaviors, we we are going to go back and use. Mm -hmm. So wow. because of the shame and guilt that keep us locked. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for a whole lot of years, I had shame. I had guilt. So because in, in, in my life, I can tell you, I was sexually molested. And a lot of that stuff bombarded me mm -hmm. and and through me and, and through me knowing that I can use a substance that uh, that uh, numb me yes. it numb the um, the thoughts from bombarding mm -hmm. for just a little while oh. right. mm -hmm. until uh, until the thoughts come back then I had to go back to it mm -hmm. but when I got free hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. Lord, Lord. You know, sometimes it still come, um, them, them thoughts come and still have me going. But however, <clears throat> there is hope. There is still joy. There's still word, um, the word. Amen. It's still the word. See, because God said that, you know, every imagination that we had to cast down, Amen. 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 We had to, we had to, 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 um, to pull down the strongholds, mm -hmm. and that when, when, when we start, uh, start living the word, my God, God is going to be there. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. God is going to be there, but yes. you just have to trust and believe on Him. Amen. Amen. You know, and and I like these, these meetings. You know the spiritual meetings because uh, because of the word. All right. <laughs> Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Right. You know, and and when I tell you when I was two years clean, I started a meeting myself at the church that I that I attend, and it's called Step Out of Darkness, and we've been we've been ministering for 18 years. Beautiful. Wow. Amen. And the reason why, the reason why that 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 God gave it to me is because He told me that you have to go back and and, and help somebody else 
that is that that's right. locked and loaded in what you've been through. Yes. Right. Amen. That's right. You know, and this is what what's important. Uh, why these meetings doesn't matter what what um um what the name is the 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 uh, the process, but if it's if it's going to save a life. Yes. Right. Amen. 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 All right. It's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, right. and, Say so. And, mm -hmm. and you know, and I just thank God for 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 this time, and that's all I got. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. Amen. 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 Uh, Deacon Frank in that powerful testimony. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God has done, you know, turn to somebody and say, you don't know like I know. Yes. What God has done for me. Yes. Yes. Tell somebody, tell somebody, yes. look at me. Yes. Look at me. Yes. I'm a testimony. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm a testimony. Yes. You don't Hallelujah. Know what, uh, uh, this other sister that's getting ready to come up, she has a saying, don't judge a book by a cover. You never know what somebody is going through. That's so right. I'm going to bring up Sister Ella at this time, and she's going to give her testimony, another powerful testimony. Receive her, y'all, right. as she comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. I gave my testimony a title. My title is Kim Judge of Book Bites. My name is Ella. I'm 58 years old. I've been on drugs for 27 years. Dope and coke. I have three children. My oldest daughter would have been 40 years old. She passed away three years ago. My children never sold drugs or used drugs. Usually be the other way around. When you worry about your children selling drugs or using drugs, they worried about me. I was a hot mess. I was just out there. You know, I do truly believe that most people that's out there on drugs and alcohol, there's a story behind it. Nobody just wakes up and says, you know, I, I want, I'm going to be an addict. I'm going to be high. That just doesn't happen. I don't believe that. There's a story behind it. I know where minds come from. Me having a sick mother all my life, I had a sick mm -hmm. mother. From the time I was born to the time my mother died. Mm -hmm. My father molested me from the age nine, I could say to maybe thirteen. Jesus, Jesus. Um, I I always didn't think that I was, you know, a pleasant looking child growing up because I had a skin disease called eczema. Mm -hmm. My skin was real bad, hair real short, just looked so bad, you know. And I didn't love myself. Being truthfully, I wanted to die when I was really young, and wanted to die, you know. But um, God had me here for a reason, like I said. I, I got mad for all the wrong reasons just to get out the house with my father. Mm. I was a hot mess. You know, both of my daughters, they're nice looking, they're nice looking son. They, they finished school and had a nice job. My daughter, before she died, she worked for the hospital. My other daughter, she was um, teaching little kids in, in daycare. My son, he worked for New Jersey Transit Railroad. He's still there. He's a farmer. Like I said, my children never sold drugs or used drugs. They worried about me. You know, my son used to call, come to me and say, Mommy, you know, I want a mother like my other like my other friend's mother. You know, a mother that go to church, and even if you don't go to church, you know, look nice and clean, because I was nasty, I was dirty, and I was stank. I had so much crust on my heel, you could scrape it with a knife. My God. I used to walk up and down the street, picking cigarette butts off the ground, smoking it, running up to car, panhandling, you got a 50 cent, you got a dollar, so I get up enough money to buy my dope or my coat. You know, he couldn't work, but people call him mad, your mother on not stop on jabbing again. Was no shame in my game. I didn't care. I did any and everything in order to get my drugs. It's the one I ain't have AIDS. It's the one I didn't die. I just didn't care. My mind was just going. I was just lost, you know? I mean, I'm in and out of every detox. North, East Orange, Irvington. You name it, I've been there over and over and over again. Every time a man or a woman come up there, nice looking woman, smelling good, looking good, and give her testimony, I will always sit back. You know, I tried everything to stop getting high. I wanted to stop getting high so bad. And I, in my mind, I just couldn't imagine. said, one day I want that me to be on the other side. Me being the one to get my testimony. The day that is me. <laughs> Amen. I, I mean, I was, when I say I wore 98 pounds, took a cigarette butt off the ground. My daughter's nice looking, you know, they, they got married, they got husband, my son, and everything. So shame of me. Wouldn't let me in the house that I was still anything that wasn't nailed down. Even the apartment I live in, so all the knickknacks off the wall, so anything that wasn't nailed down. 
You know, I wanted to stop. I didn't want to be like this year. You know, all the stuff that happened in my life, I just couldn't deal with it. I just didn't know how to stop. You know, I took, I, I wanted to die. So I cut my wrist twice, you know, and it, and, and it just sewed it up. I took pills three times. They just pumped it up. God said, you know what? You're going to be one of my angels. You're going to be a soldier. I got a job for you. All right. Amen. Amen. So cut your wrist if you must. Take pills. All I'm going to do is pump it out and all I'm going to do is sew it up, you know. I was clean two years. Two years I was clean. Two years at least I thought I was clean. Because the only thing that I was took from was the dope and the coke. Because I was still smoking cigarettes, still drinking vodka, still drinking beer, still going to clubs every now and then, still just doing what, you know, but the only thing the dope and the coke was took. So I wasn't really clean. Because all I did was brought me back to my drug of choice. By me drinking beer, drinking vodka, I just wasn't getting that high. So of course I'm going to go back to the dope and coke. That's all right. I've been playing eight years. I'm 15. Right. Yeah. 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 I was 50 years old Glory. when I stopped getting high. 50. My daughter, her dream was one day, and I want to see my mommy clean before, you know, before I die. You know, she wanted to see me clean. She seen me clean. I, I just my daughter seen me clean yeah. for seven years before she died. Amen. Well, at least six years before she died. Amen. Five months she seen me clean. Amen. Now my son got a mother like his other, like his other friend. But I go to church, I am saved. I gave my life to God. Amen. 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 I said everything that the devil took from me, God gave me back and then some. I, I said, I said, I said to myself, you know, I said God do have a purpose for me. You know, um. I could truly say he took me from a disgrace to amazing grace. I, I always said, and I believe that too, you know. Yeah, man. He got a purpose for me, you know, and that's why he let me live. Because the things that I was doing, the way my life was going, I really should have been dead. I know I should have been dead. But see, God let me live because he had a purpose for me. And now that he let me live, he let me live because he wants me to tell my story. I am not ashamed to tell my story. Yes. Right. Yes. I, I was not yet down. I was nasty, dirty, and stank, picking cigarettes up, bucks up the ground. I had so much crust in my head, you could scrape it with a knife. You could see the dirt on my body. You, I smelled real bad. Drugs took all my teeth out of my mouth. Drugs took every last teeth out of my mouth but two. And that was nasty, dirty, black, and stank. So when God cleaned me up, he cleaned me up. He took the last two nasty teeth out of my mouth. mouth Gave me top and bottom, I can say cheese now when I take okay. my cheese. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I am so, like when I tell my testimony, me and I get with a couple other people, they jerk me. You gonna tell all you, I ain't tell them. Dad, don't tell yours, that's you. I'm gonna tell mine, because it's another me that's out there. All right, I have to tell my story. God let me live, that's why he let me live. For me yeah. to tell my story. Yeah. I have yeah. to tell my story. And I don't sugarcoat nothing. Yes. No, I'm clean, I'm clean today. I gave my life to God. I am serious about my walk in Christ. Very serious about my walk in Praise Christ. Praise the Lord. I, I didn't have the best of your relationship, you know. Um, the last guy I lived with, you know, I, I, I still pray for him that he would stop drinking, you know, dipping the dab into drugs. You know, I'm not blaming nobody for me for what I did, because what I did, I did it to myself, but I still, I pray for him. Yeah. But I all already know that being out clean, you cannot live and still continue being with nobody that's still drinking, still getting yeah. high, because you're bound to relapse. So I'm asking God, God, I'm still here with this man. Can you remove me? I mean, well, what, what are you going to do? I, mean, I got one year clean. So what you got when you're clean? You've been on drugs for 27 years. You kept right. relapsing, relapsing. Ain't nobody going to take you enough for no one year. Ain't nobody going to trust you. I said, God, just give me a chance, please. God said, no, it's not time yet. Two years went by, you know. But all the physical bruises had stopped, but the mental bruises are still there. Because you don't lost your partner, you know. And you think I'm going to go right back out there. But see, the devil's alive. You can remember Jesus. That thought wasn't even in my head. Because I wasn't bound to go back out there. Four years went by, three years went by. I'm like, God, when, meanwhile, he's still drinking or even in the bathroom, getting high, the smaller stuff, you know. But I was strong in my spot because I already knew what I wanted. So when I got to five years, God said, okay, now, you're strong. I want to see what you was working with. It's time for me to remove you. Yeah. And he removed me. He put me in the house with my brother. He's the pastor. He's the wife of the pastor. Right. God already knew where he wanted me to go at, you know. Yeah. And all my brothers and sisters, we all were on drugs. It's five boys and three girls. All of us had a drug problem. Every last one of us. But every last one of my brothers and sisters are saved. My mother dreamed before she died, but one day all of my children would be saved. All my brothers and sisters saved. Deacon, pastors, and yeah. all. Sometimes you wouldn't even see my 
no cause. Wasn't afraid. I wasn't even scared. To the day I'm scared today, I had sisters that got sis now. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I said to myself, I like that scripture in the Bible. I said, I am a peculiar person that was called out of the darkness to his marvelous light. Yeah. Like I said, God had a plan for me. That's why he would not let me down. And he said, who the best can, can go ahead and walk that walk, talk that talk, and, and you know, tell, tell your story. Because like I said, it's another me that's out there. Yeah. Don't nobody know what nobody done went through, what caused them to get high. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm glad I'm into this ministry, and for my church that I'm into now, we, we deal with stuff like that. So when I see them coming in, smelling bad or, or looking bad, I run up to them, grab them, hug them, kiss them. I don't care if they smell bad. I had to smell one yet smell better than me. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so I love what I'm doing. I love what God brought me from, and I don't forget where I came from. My name is Ella, and that's my story. All right! All right. Yeah. I just feel like running around yeah. the sanctuary, running around yeah. the room, yeah. because God is able. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. And now we come to a part. Uh, normally, normally during our meetings, what we do is we have a, we have the word. We have about a 10 minute, 15 minute breakdown of scripture. Tonight we have someone very special who's going to come up and present to us something that he has prepared by the unction of the Holy Ghost specifically for you all. So help me as I welcome Pastor Dennis Malloy. something because we have some people that are very special to us. Oh, praise Amen. God. We want to honor them. You, you know, before we present this, I just want to say this, just two, a couple words. Everyone here, I mean, I'm not going to say everyone here, but many families have someone in their family that has some kind of addiction. An addiction is an addiction. Yeah. That's right. I don't care if it's drugs, right. sex, uh, gambling, an addiction is addiction. You go through the same thing. That's right. You go through the many, same process. Mm -hmm. My sister, she gave her testimony, and, and I just, I have to say this because, you know, every one of us have what we call, what we say, the black sheep of the family. Okay? And, you know, when you're growing up, you're siblings, you know? Sure. Some, some of our siblings we get along with, and some we don't get along with. Yes. You know? And, and, and I'm going to be quite honest. My sister and I, we 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 weren't the best of of, of the best. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember the Lord said to me, um, two years before she came, or a year before she came, you know, get this room ready. Someone's coming to live with you. Mm -hmm. And we were getting the room ready. Was getting the room ready. And I said, Lord, who's coming? Who's coming? And I remember the day I got the call, and I was crying. I said, Lord, you didn't tell me she was coming. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I'm going to tell you something. I love my sister. Amen. Amen. That's, my, that's, my, that's my big sister. Amen. She's not the oldest, but that's my big sister. Amen. A lot of times she, she, she'll say to me, she said, she'll say, you ain't my father. I'm only. <laughs> but I say it to say this. You know, um, God can, I was praying for my sister for yes. so long. Amen, amen. You know, you see, you see, you see your family member on the streets. You see them begging, and, and you, you're embarrassed, and you're praying, you're praying, you're praying. Don't count anybody out. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Um, Amen. We have something um, for two special people, and we want to. I'll make this presentation. I'm going to ask my wife to read what it says on it. It says, 
In recognition of one year of participation in the most excellent way, Christian fellowship, and demonstration of courage and dependency on God, we present this plaque to Frank Ingalls on Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Now eagerly desire the greater gifts, and yet I will show you the most excellent way. First Amen. of one year of participation in the most excellent way Christian fellowship and demonstration of courage and dependency on God, we present this plaque to Ella Beeks on Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Now eagerly desire the greater gifts, and yet I will show you the most excellent way. Amen. You know, uh, uh, Deacon Frank was excited. Ella was excited. Uh, Pastor Rebecca is excited. Pastor Anthony is excited. Amen. The Burgess are excited. My my, my 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 wife is even excited. I'm excited. Yeah. Right. You know why we're ex we're excited? Because we have the thing that can do the job. Yes. yes. That's right. And everybody's looking for something. Yes. Amen. If you had been here on Tuesday night, we went through a. Uh, uh, I would think we were in Ephesians. Mm. And as we're talking about Ephesians, we're talking about everything that God had given us. Amen. And what, what he we had, had placed us. And all of the the, 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 the power that he has given us. Amen. Yeah. But but the thing about that is it's it's so exciting to know that you have the power. Yeah. Right? Oh, yes. Amen. And yes. and these people here that, that are with me have, have come together to get excited because we have the cure. Yeah. Yeah. We have yeah. the cure yeah. what ails you. Yeah. Amen. There might be something that it, I don't care what ails you, we have the cure. Yeah. And it's Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. He is the cure for what ails you. Yes, it is. And it might not be drugs. Right. It might not be drugs. It might be something else. That's right. But whatever it is, we have the we have the cure for it. We we were sitting in in, in uh, my my uh, dining room and, and and we had met. It was uh, Pastor Burgess and Sister Burgess and Pastor uh, Anthony and Pastor Rebecca. We were sitting around my dining room table. We were talking. We we're laughing. We we're talking about God and and meeting together. And, and uh, was, uh, uh, Pastor Rebecca said, said uh, the Lord has put it on my heart, amen, to, to have a ministry mm -hmm. for the, the chemically dependent, mm -hmm. people that are on, that have addiction. Yes. And she said, I, I, I want to do that. And, and, and it was, you know, it's, it's so good and pleasant how well, brethren and sisters can dwell yes. together in unity. Yes. Yes. Because we said, we'll go with you. Yes. Amen. 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 It's a tremendous thing to come together. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because it doesn't matter who's teaching. Yeah. Right. It doesn't matter who's teaching. So, I mean, we, we have a ball in here in the Word of God. Yes. Right. Amen. It, it builds me up. Now, now understand something. I'm, I'm a pastor, but but what Brother Frank can tell you, amen, can build me up for the week. Amen. Yes. yes. What, what Sister Ella can tell me can build me up for the week. But right. somebody else, a young man back there, he comes to our, our meeting. What they can say will build me up for the week because the Word of God has that power. Yes, it has it the power to move you. It has the power to strengthen you. When you're feeling bad, you might just be feeling... That's why the Lord says forsake not the gathering together. You, you don't want to forsake gathering together because somebody in the room, amen, is going to bring the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And the Holy, when the Holy Spirit comes in the room, <laughs> it, He changes everything. Oh, yes, he changes yes. the whole no, night. You can have a bad day, you can mm. have a bad week, but when we come together on Thursday, we might not we might be tired. Yes. We might not feel like coming. That's right. But but when we get here on Thursday night and somebody shares the word of God. Yes. 
Amen. And, and then people share their testimony. People share their, their situations. It, it, you, you might not have a situation of, of, of drugs. You might have a situation in your life. Sometimes I came and talked about my work situation. Yeah. But, but, but the Word of God has an application even for that. Mm -hmm. The Word of God can handle any situation. Mm -hmm. And so when we come together, it is the most excellent. Oh, yeah. yeah. The most yeah. excellent. The most excellent way. There is nothing too hard for God. My God. Amen. My God. Say that, Pastor. Nothing too hard for yes. God. And I don't care what it is. Yes. I, I don't care. And you, you may have a problem, but I don't care what it is. Whatever it may, Christ is the answer. Yes, he is. He's the answer. We, and, and, and let me say you something. We, we, we went over to, to uh, uh, Ephesians on Tuesday night, and uh, Pastor um, uh, Lorette, uh, what's his name? Lorette, Pastor Lorette, mm -hmm. said that, you know why Paul was so excited? He was so excited because he was like somebody that found the cure for cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He says, if you found the cure for cancer and you had the cure, wouldn't you be excited oh, to yes. tell somebody? Wow. What if you had the cure for Ebola? Ebola. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you had the cure for Ebola, would you be excited to tell people? Yes. 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 I, yes. I wonder why I'm so happy when I preach the gospel. Oh my God. <laughs> it's because we have the answer to your problem. Yes. Yes. We have the answer. We can cure whatever ails you. Yes. Amen. So, so we do have the answer. Yes. Amen. So that makes us so excited to, to come together, to share, and to, to be excited. And you ought to be excited. Amen. You need to understand that you have the answer to a lot of people's problems. People worrying about, about ISIS, people worrying about whatever ISO, they worrying about Ebola, they worrying about flu, they worry about cancer, they worry about whatever. But you need to worry about who can take care of you after you get all of that stuff. Yeah. Huh? We're talking about somebody beyond all of that stuff. Yeah. Because yes. one day you're going to meet Jesus. Mm. Amen. The Amen. Bible says every knee shall bow. Yeah. Every yeah. tongue yeah. shall confess yeah. that Jesus is yeah. Lord Amen. of all. That's, That's right. right. So even after Ebola, mm -hmm. after ISIS, mm -hmm. after cancer, after whatever, there's still Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Amen. And that's what we come to share with everybody on a consistent basis. And we stand arm in arm together because yes. we're excited. Yes. yes. Because we have proof. Yes. Amen. That it works. Amen. <laughs> we have proof that it works. Amen. Amen. So I, I, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you that, that if you know somebody, send them here on Thursday night. Tell them that we're going to be here on Thursday night. Tell them that we have the answer to their problem. And it may take one day, may take two days, two years. I don't know. But understand something. God will do it. Yes, he will. He Amen. will do it. Amen. So yes, he we will. have proof that he will do it. Amen. There's people right in this, this room that can stand up and tell you that God took it from them. Whatever yes. they had, yes. he took it from them. Amen. Amen. And that they can stand on their own two feet and say, I'm, I'm, I have peace now because yes. Christ lives on the inside. Yes. I have yes. joy now yes. because Christ lives on the inside. Yes. I have confidence right now mm -hmm. because of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. who's on the inside of me yes. and they'll tell you greater is he oh. yeah. that's right. that is inside of me oh yeah he yeah. that is in the bottle and the pipe or anything else yeah oh, yes amen You know, and Pastor uh, Malloy said something so powerful. He said, if you know anybody, mm -hmm. tell them to come. I want to just encourage you, if you know anybody that's dealing with addiction, mm -hmm. you come. Because it's going to help you. How often do we have family members, sons, daughters, cousins, sisters, brothers, who are struggling with addiction and strongholds, and it's stressing us out? Mm -hmm. So coming around this table with us will help you to deal with your family members who are struggling. And not only that, but if you have any kind of struggle and you need encouragement, just come out and sit around the table, have a cup of coffee, have some donuts, <laughs> and, and, and allow 
allow the Lord to minister to you. I cannot tell you how many weeks I came in here with the, the burden of life. And by the time I left out of here, as strong as I am, I was ready, and Amen. I was stronger, Amen. and I was Amen. wiser. Amen. These couples, the Malloys, Pastors Malloys and the Burgesses, the, these couples have been a blessing to my life. Amen. And they have shaped me and molded me over the past year to help me be better. Praise so God. I would say it's worth it. It's worth coming out, being a part of this ministry, being a part of this group. God may have called you to minister to the addicted. If that's the case, you mm -hmm. want to come and be equipped so that you can go back and bring some in. Amen. It's not God's Amen. desire that anyone should perish, but all should come to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Oh, praise the Lord. That's the praise end the of our formal part. We're going to have some more food. We're going to do some more networking. We're going to ask Pastor Burgess to come and close us in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Our Father and our God, thank you, Lord God, for this thank you, open Jesus. house. Thank you. thank you for the most excellent way. Father, you said you are the way. Truth. Yes. 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 We pray for each and every one here, Lord. Father, the families, Lord God, each and every one, Lord God, have a story, Lord God. Yes. You know the uncle, you know the aunt, you know the sister, you know the brother. Yes. Father God, you know the niece, the nephew, the cousin, Lord God. Yes. Father God, that's struggling with addiction. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for touching them right now. Yes, 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 Lord, touch God. Right now, Lord God. Jesus, that's hallelujah. Lord God, that, that's crying out and saying, Lord, help me, save yes, me, Lord God. You Lord. said, whosoever call on the name of the Lord oh, shall yes. be saved. Thank you, Jesus. Save them, Lord God. You said, Lord God, hallelujah, you will destroy the yoke. We thank you for destroying every yoke, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord God, even for the family members. Lord, sometimes, Lord God, bridge are burnt, and sometimes family members get burnt out, Lord. Yes. Strengthen the family members, Lord. Oh, yes. Yes, Strengthen Lord. them, Lord God. Yes, God. You said, oh, come unto me. You said those that are heavy... Oh, that they have a heavy burden or heavy laden. You said, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon yes, you and Lord. learn of Thank me. You, my yoke yes, is easy. Lord. My burden is yes. light. Yes. So, Lord God, even as they come, Lord God, give them rest, Lord. Lord. Strengthen them, Lord God. Lord. Give them peace, Lord. Yes, Lord. And, Father, we thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. For keeping us, oh God, realizing that you are the cure, yeah. Lord God, and you are the answer. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So you're welcome to continue to partake of the food and the refreshments. We thank each and every one of you once again for coming out. Make sure you get some literature and take it back with you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.